my name is Morgan. I am a student here at BYU, and I'm currently trying to live my happiest life, to thrive and to really pursue happiness. So I'm going to take you through my life, what I'm doing day to day to be my happiest and to thrive. I've definitely been pursuing happiness, trying to be authentically happy, thrive, my whole entire life, of course, like most people. I come from a family of six. I'm the middle child. Thankfully, I'm not forgotten. <laughs> um, I grew up living a really happy life. I love fashion, love anything to do with clothes and creating. I love to paint. I love to be outside, to run. It makes me super happy, makes me feel like I'm accomplishing something. I would say one of my biggest fears in life is not reaching my full potential or even exceeding it. I have a lot of goals and dreams for myself that I hope to achieve soon. It would be such a shame for me to miss those. This is why I'm going to BYU, to get a college degree. I know that by doing this, I'm going to be able to gain a lot of experience that's going to help me in my career, which will help me achieve my goals, whether I'm taking economics, marketing, a class about the planets, or who even knows what I'm going to have to take in the future. These classes just help me use my time more wisely. They help me learn more about the world and teach me how to work hard to learn new things and to dive into something headfirst. Of course, going to school is a lot of time. It's a lot of effort and I'm not only going to school full time, I'm also working full time right now. So my plate is full. I spend lots of hours at the library, after classes, in between classes, and then I go home to do more of my homework. I've got hours and hours of it. But I do homework, homework, study, study some work in between but it gets really easy to get down on myself I'm really I really push myself and sometimes I'm a little too hard on myself so I've implemented some things in my life that are helping me to be happier they're helping me to thrive my religion and faith plays a big role in my life I have learned from experiences that God is so kind and from chapter six in this class we learned about the thrivers mindset how we can have that by having a personal mission statement for us. I've learned that God's personal mission statement might be to be kind, to love. So I'm applying that in my life. I make a conscious effort to especially be kind to myself with all the things going on. Although my immediate reaction is to be hard on myself, by choosing to be kind, it makes the hard things easier. It makes loving easier and I've felt God's love more in my life. Another principle I'm applying in my life to pursue happiness is the principle of flow. I love this, and I didn't even realize I was doing it until I learned about flow. I use baking and cooking a lot as my time to de-stress, especially with so much going on in my life. My kitchen, I would say, is my flow room. Even though sometimes there are distractions around, I lose all sense of time as baking, especially takes a long time between preparing the mixes and baking and letting them cool, but I love it. I'm not always the best and the first time doesn't always turn out that great, but that's where the challenge comes in and this has helped me to express my creativity, to enjoy the food, to share it with others, which brings me a good social aspect, which I really appreciate. Baking soothes me and really just helps me to take a break from things, which helps me more than anything. Having my faith to help me to understand a better personal mission statement of being kind and the flows of baking and cooking have helped me not just to pursue happiness but to find it in the moment. I have found myself being more grateful for the things in my life and enjoying the moments day to day. Honestly, who couldn't ask for more?